this is a reiteration of what an acceleration actually means and I'm gonna start out with Newton's second law which says that the net force equals mass times acceleration or just one algebra step acceleration equals net force divided by mass net force means all the forces that act on one object combined so there's just one vector that we're gonna come up with and now that one vector for the net force actually is parallel to the acceleration so the net force points in the same direction as the acceleration the two are combined by simply dividing the net force by the mass that actually I won't do throughout my explanation here I don't want to do any calculations where therefore we're not going to add or subtract anything therefore when we look at the vectors we're also not going to be able to combine them simply because I'm not dividing by the mass I just want to keep it conceptually here okay so we have a net force that produces an acceleration by dividing by mass the acceleration produces a change in velocity same thing I would have to actually multiply that by time in, in seconds for example um, but I'm not gonna do that I'm just wanna keep it conceptually that's also why you see down here the units force in newtons acceleration meters per second squared velocity in meters per second you cannot add vectors directly you would have to divide by mass multiply by time but as I said we're not gonna do that I just wanna point out especially that an acceleration produces a change in velocity which then means decrease in speed increase the speed or change direction because velocity means speed with direction so if I change the velocity with an acceleration I either decrease the speed increase the speed or change the direction so here's the example we have an airplane sitting on a runway there are several forces acting on the airplane weight is pulling it down the support force of the runway well, supporting it upwards the propeller is on yet but it doesn't produce any thrust yet yet which means the brakes must be on so the velocity right now is zero the airplane is just standing there and since the support force and the weight cancel each other then and we don't have any thrust yet the net force is zero therefore the acceleration is zero therefore since there is no acceleration the velocity is not changing and it stays constant and if we keep it this way then it will always be v equals zero meters per second um, that's the law of inertia something at rest will stay at rest but that's a little boring uh, we want to continue here with that something does happen so let's say that the airplane is now starting to move to the right in order to do that we need a net force so we put the thrust on so we have a net force with an acceleration in the horizontal this is what I said earlier net force and acceleration are always parallel to each other or with each other we have now actually four forces weight down support force up thrust forward drag backwards or friction because it's still on the runway and all those four added together comes out to the net force which then produces an acceleration according to the mass of the airplane and now that it's accelerating the velocity indeed is increasing so we have some velocity here notice that I cannot add these vectors because they have different units and as I said I just want to keep it conceptually okay so the oops I meant to use a different color here the velocity of the airplane is now increasing perhaps one meter per second two meters per second and so on and once it's at around 30 meters per second it will be fast which is about 60 miles that airplane is going to be fast enough for liftoff okay, what I need for that then is that the net force and the acceleration need to point 
at least partially upwards. So what we have here now is that we have weight pulling down, thrust to the right, drag to the left, support for still from the runway up, but now we also got lift and that all these five vectors in this case, five force vectors in this case, added up give us a net component that also goes up. So what is happening here now is that the velocity is increasing still, but it's also starting to point upwards. I'm, by the way, I'm also not changing the, the length of the arrows here, because um, I think that would be just a little bit too much. So it's starting to lift off, and so this one here would be a minute not just to the right, but to the upper right. Okay, now the plane is flying, and I'm going to take the runway away. Okay, now the plane is flying, and it's gaining an altitude. So it's getting faster, and let's say at some point it has reached a speed of 50 meters per second, and it's still flying to the upper right. and it still is increasing its altitude, gaining altitude. So now the pilot decides that she wants to um, keep it at a certain maximum altitude, so she needs to change velocity. Right now it's pointing up, but she needs to change it in order to keep it horizontal. Well, that needs a force. So she applies a force that will now point downward, at least partially downward. Now that doesn't mean that the airplane is now moving downwards. What it means is that the velocity will change its direction. So going from up, it will move towards horizontal. By the way, it's also still getting faster. So maybe I'm going to change this one here to 60 meters per second. It's actually a little fast for that little airplane, but that's okay. So the net force is downward until that velocity um, um, is then constant horizontally. Notice that in order to do that, she would have to um, decrease the lift. So the lift would have to be less than the weight so that the weight actually um, slows the air plane down on its ascent until it has reached a cruising altitude. Now the pilot decides that I just want to keep going at that 60 meters per second um, at constant altitude, which means I want to keep my velocity constant, and I can only do that if I have no force. So a moment ago, actually, the airplane just moved to the right and still getting faster, now it just keeps moving to the right at a constant velocity. There is no force. Acceleration is zero. Velocity is constant. Now the pilot decides, oh, I want to um, fly a little um, slower. So what she can do is she can reduce the thrust so that overall she would have with more drag than thrust, she would have a net force pointing to the left. So I'm going to turn these arrows around. I'm going to change the writing here. As I said, don't don't add don't add the vectors. We can't do that because of the different units. Um, but we can do it only conceptually. Now that means with the net force pointing to the left, so there is more drag. That means also that the acceleration is to the left, since the velocity is to the right, that means that the velocity is decreasing. So the speed is decreasing, it's getting slower. Let's say that she's flying only at 45 meters per second at this point. Okay. 